Mr. Transformers 96 here with an update to a previous video that I did just last week. This time I'm going to be discussing some more aspects and just kind of uh, uh, going in slightly to more depth uh, with the argument of the Hot Toys Jyn Erso face sculpt. Um, and in this video I'm also going to be comparing the Sideshow statue face sculpt uh, to the Hot Toys one and then to the actual actress in the film. Um, I'm deciding to do this just because uh, the, you know, I had some new thoughts about the Sideshow one in particular and uh, I was able to find some images that more closely uh, um, were from the same angle as the Hot Toys pictures were from and things like that. So I decided that I definitely wanted to make this as well as I'm seeing a lot of people that, uh, that think that the head sculpt's okay. And you know, um, uh, I just, I I really, it's so off to me that, like, if you really look at these pictures and actually, like, I don't know, if you just, if you kind of know what the actress looks like, you you really, it, it's pretty obvious that it's it's quite off. So I did want to just make this video to, uh, to, uh, to add some more insight to it, and because I think that it's a unique situation where, personally, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but personally, when you just look at the facial structure, not quite the detail, just the facial structure, um, Sideshow, in my opinion, has crafted a, a more closely uh, uh, related um, sculpt to the actress, uh, in my opinion. So just just to re reiterate that, uh, the as far as the detail goes, Hot Toys obviously has better detail. If you look at the Hot Toys and Sideshow pictures, uh, just, just to give you a breakdown here, these three are the Sideshow uh, statue. This one and then this one are the Hot Toys figure, and then obviously these three pictures are uh, from either promotional material or uh, straight up images of the character in the film. Um, so as far as the detail goes, Hot Toys obviously wins it. They have very realistic eyes to them. Uh, their their skin tone and texture is all incredibly realistic. No matter what the sculpt is, their detail is always fantastic. It always looks like a real person. Where Hot Toys runs into some issues sometimes. Sometimes they really nail it, but sometimes uh, they run into some issues where the just the likeness of it isn't, it, it looks real, it just doesn't re resemble the uh, the actual character enough. And that's definitely where I think that uh, they've run into some issues at this point. I think the face sculpt looks fantastic, but it doesn't quite look like Felicity Jones. Um, as far as the Sideshow one, the Sideshow one doesn't have that fantastic detail. I mean, it has okay detail, but the detail is not anywhere near Hot Toys' quality. However, I think that they just better sculpted the uh, the likeness of Felicity Jones. I think that um, Hot Toys, I would guarantee you that whoever sculpted the... Um, the Scarlett Johansson face sculpt, uh, not the newer one, but the more original one. Uh, I think that they were absolutely the same person that sculpted this Jyn Erso. Uh, especially when you look at this picture. From this picture, I don't see it, but from this picture of the Hot Toys one, it legitimately, sorry, that's my background, it legitimately looks like the Hot Toys Black Widow face sculpt, um, but with different hair. It legitimately does. If you really take a look at it, and that's not even something that I came up with. Um, I've had multiple people tell me that, and then when I looked at it, I really agreed it legitimately does uh, so I, I definitely think that the uh, that the person who sculpted this new head sculpt has more of a comfort zone or um, or is just kind of used to sculpting the Scarlett Johansson head sculpt so they they sculpt certain aspects of it the same way it's the same thing with artists a lot of artists um, when they're drawing especially like comic book artists uh, when they're drawing multiple different characters in the same style uh, that don't have extremely um, that have very subtle differences, basically. Uh, they, they tend to draw like the eyes the same way or the lips the same way, just because they have a style of drawing, you know. So they can do different expressions, but they're going to have the same look to the lips and eyes and and nose and things like that. So uh, although the nose is a little easier to change, but um, but uh, with eyes and lips uh, in particular, that that does seem to happen. So I feel like the same thing kind of happened uh, when it came to sculpting this new head sculpt. Um, as far as why I think the Sideshow one is a better sculpt, uh, just purely purely based on sculpt, obviously I don't want to get in, into a, a fight of which one looks more realistic, I'm just talking about the sculpt. As far as Sideshow's sculpt, I think that they did a much better job. Uh, first of all, the, the one huge miss, in my opinion, when it comes to the Hot Toys one, is the jawline. I think that the Hot Toys one just absolutely kills the jawline uh, from Felicity Jones. Uh, as you can see from all the pictures, any, any shot that 
that you look at her from. Uh, she has quite a, a, a pretty a wide jawline. It's just how it, uh, her face is structured. And the sideshow one, I think, nails that. I mean, from the side here, and this is at a bit of a downward angle, so it shouldn't be this prominent, uh, or it, um, it would be less prominent from this angle, uh, but it's still very visible, as you can see quite a large jawline and then from uh, an angle looking up same type of thing uh, which is how she looks the Hot Toys one I mean from above it doesn't even look like she has a jawline it looks like her face comes to the point uh, similar to the Scarlett Johansson sculpt which works for Scarlett Johansson but does not work for Felicity, uh, Felicity Jones so I do definitely think that they miss that especially when you're looking down and even when you're looking up you can see uh, more of it but it still is not quite there and they've sculpted in the cheekbone uh, with a lot of definition, which even uh, which um, which lessens the jawbone even more, because uh, it looks like the the um, the cheekbone is the uh, more prominent um, uh, uh, piece of, uh, of her facial structure to the side there. So it, it they really miss that, and that's just the like the kind of shape of her face, which is you know the base basically. So uh, that is definitely a huge disappointment. Again, another reason why I think that the person was just. Um, kind of had that Scarlett Johansson style to their sculpting work already, and which is why they missed out on that. As far as some of the details in the face, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult. I think that the, the Sideshow one really nails it. Now, you know, Sideshow is notorious for uh, for their products coming out. Uh, uh, once they come out, they're, they're quality and they're just not as good as the, um, the other images. However, these images so far, like the prototype that they're working on, uh, looks really great. I mean, these two are from an event. They're not even, like, taken by Sideshow. And then this one, this one is taken by Sideshow. So uh, even just the in-person uh, images of it still look quite good. Um, I think that the the uh, the lips are better on the uh, sideshow one compared to the Hot Toys one. The Hot Toys one has um, pretty uh, has you know quite uh, quite a lot of definition in the top lip where you can really see the bump uh, towards the middle there, which uh, Felicity Jones doesn't have very much. Her lips are uh, or her top lip at least is more rounded. It doesn't have that much definition there um, uh, at the center, uh, which the Hot Toys one does represent. The eyes, I also think that the eyes on the Hot Toys one have more um, shadow, or sorry, the, that in the movie, Felicity Jones has more shadow at the bottom of her eye. She has more eye shadow, uh, which the Hot Toys one does not really show. This this picture, you can kind of see it a bit. This one, you really can't see it at all. The Sideshow one, from all angles, as you can see, they have done the bottom of the eye with a, you know, with a darker eye shadow that really pops, which is how she wears, uh, what she wears in the movie. And also, I get the argument a lot that, well, this is just an earlier prototype, you know, Hot Toys can fix it. Uh, I've been collecting Hot Toys for quite a few years. Hot Toys doesn't really change their face sculpts. Um, it, it just doesn't happen. Like, sometimes there there are exceptions, although I can't really think of a face sculpt that they changed. But there are some uh, times where they have changed a body uh, to better... Uh, uh, for the final product to, um, that really improved it, such as the Man of Steel Superman. They did change the body, uh, which looked quite good when they finally came out. And then the most recent example would be the Ben Affleck Batman, where they did, uh, he obviously looked terrible in the preview images, and they changed his body sculpt so that it, it was, uh, he was less of the fat man that people were calling him. And uh, he looked, you know, quite good. But as far as head sculpts go, you know, there can be differences with the paint and things, but the sculpt itself never changes. Uh, when they put a figure on pre-order, that initial look is how it comes out. You know, again, the paint can be slightly different, but the sculpt itself doesn't change. So I get a lot of times people saying, well, it's an early prototype. That's not how Hot Toys works. You know, when they get to the stage, they basically have it all planned out. It's just some of the paint, and obviously since it's, um, since it's mass manufactured, although they're all hand painted, they can be uh, different with the paint because of that. But the sculpt itself doesn't change. It really doesn't. I mean, give me an example of when that's happened, especially in recent times. Uh, I've been collecting Hot Toys for four years, and it really doesn't happen. So again, I mean, this is what we're gonna get. You know, whether you you have the hopes that they'll change it, it's not gonna happen. So uh, that is that is another reason why this is such such a bummer for me. And personally, you know, like the uh, 
uh, Wonder Woman Gal Gadot head sculpt is off and a lot of people had trouble with that. Uh, it didn't bother me so much just because uh, I thought that it looked good enough, you know, and that was just kind of the end of it. I'm not a huge Gal Gadot fan, um, but uh, Felicity Jones, I actually, I like the actress quite a bit. Uh, really, everything that she's attached to, I really enjoy. Even Inferno, which got generally dis uh, bad reviews, I personally really enjoyed it. I was expecting to really hate it, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it, and I think that uh, the majority of that was because of uh, Felicity Jones. So, uh, I really enjoy the projects that she's a part of, like Theory of Everything. She's an Oscar-nominated actress because of that movie, and that is a fantastic movie. She did a wonderful job. I'm dying to see When a Monster Calls. I think it looks like one of the best movies of the year. And uh, and just personally, I really enjoy the choices as far as uh, which movies uh, she's in. I enjoy her choices. And, uh, and usually, or so far at least, I've really enjoyed everything that she's been a part of. Um, so, I, you know, I personally like the actress, which is why I really wanted a good head sculpt here, and it seems to be failing. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the hair. Uh, the hair, um, I think that both Sideshow and Hot Toys got it wrong, but I think Sideshow got it closer. Uh, Hot Toys, in, you know, e any angle that you look at it from, like this one where you're looking down at it, or this one where you're looking up at it, the, um, and also, just so you can see here, I tried to pick... Uh, shots of the face that uh, were in somewhat of the same expression um, and that were taken from the same angle. So I tried to do that so you could really get a, a good comparison. But anyway, with the hair, uh, with the Hot Toys one and to some extent the Sancho one, the hair comes to a point. Like it really comes to a point here, the hairline. And then the head looks a bit pinheadish. Uh, which is definitely not accurate. Obviously, you know, the head shouldn't be massive and round, but it should be more round than this. I also think that from just about all the images that I saw, uh, Felicity Jones, her hair doesn't come a wall in Rogue One. It doesn't come to a point. Uh, it really does kind of spread out over her head, and then uh, that's how it is for every shot of her in the movie. Now, some of the promotional items like this, where obviously they, they do up the hair and everything so that they can take this picture, now that does come to a point. So I understand what they were going with. I would prefer this because this seems to be more of her look in the movie as far as how she wears her hair. Um, but I understand that when they got the promotional images and things like that when they were sculpting this, that this is the type of things they were going off of. Um, but it does still come to more of a pinheadish uh, pin uh, ish look. Look, which I don't like. I wish that the top head was a bit more rounded. Maybe just added some more hair just uh, to the corners to uh, help fix that. Now the Sideshow one does the same thing where it comes to a point, but I think that the way that the hair is sculpted, it has more movement to it. Um, they're obviously trying to express a static pose, uh, while the Hot Toys one wants to be a little bit more neutral so that you can pose it. So I, I like the, uh, the way that the hair is flowing on the Sideshow one. And I like the way that you have uh, a strand of hair that is coming down that's not attached to the main section. I think that looks quite good. From this angle, it does look a bit pinheadish, um, but from these angles, it does not. And, you know, from this angle, looking down at it, this one still has a pinheadishly look. So I think that Sideshow did do the hair better, although I think that neither of them uh, really did it perfect. So there you go, that's my updated thoughts on the Jin Erso head sculpt. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if this is just uh, somewhat of repeating myself, although I did try to just say new information here, or at least give you uh, really updated thoughts. I tried to not just completely repeat myself on anything, so I uh, hope that this was interesting to you, or that you maybe uh, found some insight to it. But there you go, that's just kind of a detailed look at uh, the or so head sculpt from both Hot Toys and Sideshow and comparing it to the actual actress and her appearance in the Rogue One film. Can't wait for the film. Uh, I can't wait for the Hot Toys one still. Although I'm super disappointed, I'm still excited for the character enough that I'm, I'm of course, going to get the figure. But, uh, but yeah, it is such a shame. And especially since she won't be in another movie, it's not like we're ever going to get a new and better one. So it's definitely disappointing. But there you go. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think and thanks so much for watching.